And thank you for tuning in today. I want you to know that today is your day to be blessed by God. Today is your day to be prosperous. God has great and mighty things for your life. I want to read a scripture to you. Come from Amos chapter 5, verse 6. I actually read this scripture yesterday morning. It blessed my heart. I think it will bless you. It says, Seek the Lord and ye shall live. There's a promise to each and every believer who are watching us right now. Seek the Lord and ye shall live. All you have to do is just seek the Lord and he promises you, he promises us that he will do the miraculous. And before we go any further, I would like to pray a special prayer of your life that God will richly bless you and prosper you. Father, I pray now in Jesus' name, Lord, that you just give us strength, give us peace of mind, Lord. Help us, Lord, to not lean to our own understanding, Lord, but help us to lean to your understanding. Jesus, I thank you for your blood. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins, that we might have a right to the tree of life. Thank you, Lord, that your thoughts are not our thoughts and your ways are not our ways. Father, we come to you this morning to praise you, to magnify you. We realize, Lord, that without you, we can't do nothing. But through you, Lord, we can do all things. You said, I can do all things through Christ that strengthened me. And Father, we know that it's not by might, not by power, but it's by your spirit. Father, I pray for everyone who's watching that you would touch their hearts, Lord, through the message that will be given from the pastor today, Lord. Let something be said that's edifying, that would encourage, Lord, your people. And Father, we vow this day that we give you the praise and we appreciate you for what you have done, for what you're about to do in our lives. Amen. Truly, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, welcome to Brother Henry and You Broadcast. Um, today I have with me Pastor Richard Morris. He is the pastor of the Southside South Apostolic Faith Trinity Church in Joplin, Missouri. Very fine pastor, great friend of mine for a few years. Great man of God, full of wisdom and power. And I pray that what he's going to say to you today will bless your heart and that will enlighten you. That no matter what storm you're going through, God will calm the storm in your life. And at this time, we'll turn it over to Pastor Richard. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Brother Henry. God bless you. Thank you for uh, this invitation to share the word this morning. Brother Henry said we've been uh, friends for a few years. Brother Henry was a student here at the Bible College in Baxter Springs when I was an uh, instructor and just a fine young man. And I appreciate Brother Henry so much. I uh, appreciate his life and uh, his willingness to to just be creative and go out and go after it for Jesus. So, uh, Brother Henry, again, thank you for this invitation. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to be sharing out of uh, Acts chapter 27 this morning. Um, a lot of times we read the scripture and we read about different things that uh, people went through in the Word. And, you know, um, we read these things and we, we're thinking, wow, that was, pretty, that was a pretty neat deal. You know, that was a pretty neat experience. Pretty neat story that I just read, uh, Brother Henry. But we need to realize that I want to share scripture on this before I share uh, out of Acts chapter 27. It says in uh, Romans chapter 15, in verse 4, it says, For whatever things were written before were written for our learning, that we, through the patience and comfort of the scriptures, might have hope. Now, what I'm going to share with you today, the Lord really just burned this in my spirit. Just one afternoon, I shared it with our Wednesday night prayer uh, uh, crowd there at church uh, several months ago. But one Wednesday afternoon, I was just meditating, going through the Word, and the Lord just led me to Acts chapter 27. These thoughts, and I just began, I mean, as the Spirit of the Lord began to give them to me, I just began to jot them down. Yeah. And that's what I'm going to share today. Go ahead. Uh, because I don't, you know, even though I think it was a, a now word for our people that night, I sometimes I know you you preach the word, and I don't know about you, but sometimes you feel like you've got a word 
just for this particular group of people mm -hmm. right here. Uh, but And it is for that particular group of people. But we need to realize sometimes uh, a word for this group of people is all, also can be a general word that God wants the yeah. entire body of Christ to hear. And would you agree with that? Amen. And I think this is one of those, uh, one of those messages and, and thoughts that I think the Lord wants the entire body to hear, not just those at Southside Apostolic Faith Trinity Church in yeah. Joplin, Missouri. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but, but, but the thing that I want us to get is that what I'm going to be sharing today from Paul's life and his experience uh, walking with God was not just something that happened for Paul and it was a good thing to read, but there's some things in this that we need to get a hold of and some principles that we can learn from that will give us comfort yep. through the Scriptures and hope. Because I... And, and, and I'm going to talk about going through the storm. You know, I heard a preacher say years ago that there's something definite about a Christian. A Christian, he said, every Christian I've ever known, ever talked to, is either going through a storm, uh, going into a storm, in the middle of a storm, or coming out of a storm. <laughs> you know, and I, I think that's, uh, that's pretty good. much sums it up. And... Uh, when I read these scriptures, and we're going to look at them more in depth in just a moment, we're living in some um, tumultuous times Amen. in our world. Not just in the United States of America, but worldwide. Um, I really believe that um, we are going through some things and going to go through some storms on the horizon that we've never, we've never seen before, we've never had to deal with. And uh, much like what Paul is, is going to talk about here. So let, we'll get right into the scripture. And there's about, I don't know, there's eight or nine little points. I just want to jump out. Sure. And, uh, and I'm not going to read the entire chapter, but there'll just be verses that we're going to sure. look at. All right. And uh, the first one is, is in, found in verse 14 in uh, Acts chapter 27. It says, uh, but not long after, a tempestuous headwind arose called Eurocladon. And uh, the thing that the Lord put in my spirit was, uh, church, we're headed into a Eurocladon. We're <laughs> headed into a storm yeah. that we've never seen before. Uh, a Eurocladon, if you look it up, it really it was kind of what our, uh, in our culture we call them uh, northeasters or nor'easters. I don't know if you've ever heard that term or not, but there's a nor'easter coming in. I've heard that, you know, at my life, and it's it's uh, it's a pretty tough storm, you know, unlike any uh -huh. other storm. And that's what uh, Paul was dealing with here. He was going into a Eurocladon, and God was let, let him know this ahead of time. And I, I feel like you know the Lord is 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 speaking to my heart to, to tell the church and tell the body of Christ, we're heading, in, heading into a Eurocladon. We're heading into to, to, to tempestuous <laughs> times yeah. that we've never seen before. And there, there's some things that we can learn from these scriptures that will help us through this. All right? and so, And the next thing that uh, the Lord put on my heart was, is found in verse 18 and 19. I want you to look at this. He says... Uh, and because, verse 18, and because we were exceedingly tempestuous or tempest tossed, the next day they lightened the ship. On the third day, we threw the ship's tackle overboard with our own hands. Wow. Now, what God put in my heart was that uh, we're heading into some storms like we've never seen before. We know that. I, I know that in my spirit. You know, I. Uh, man, you don't have to be a rocket scientist, but just to turn on the news, listen to the radio, read the newspaper.